Okay guys, welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about EGL valves, how to replace them, and all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so before we can confirm that it works, we do need to go ahead and move this electrical connector, this EGL valve, to the new one. So we're going to go ahead and do that. following my channel you know that this is a 1995 uh, f-150 pickup truck and this is the 306 cylinder 4.9 liter um, and the EGR valve is actually back here this is where it bolts on and that's the part that comes from the exhaust and then this is your vacuum line and there's an electrical connector hanging down there somewhere um, so basically guys what you want to do is this surface right here very difficult to see but I can't get you in there but that's about the best I can do this surface right here you want to make sure it's nice and clean before you put your new EGR valve on so that we have nice clean mating surfaces so what you can do is take a can of brake clean or well carb cleaner was actually probably better and uh, go ahead and clean off that surface the best you can and stick your new EGR valve on One thing that never that never hurts is to take a little bit of electric cleaner if you have it. If not, I mean, I guess you can pick up a can, fill it up that much, and spray a little bit up in your old one or up into the connector that goes in there. Spray a little bit in the one coming from the truck or car, whatever you're fixing this up, and then plug it in. All right guys, so EGR valves can cause lots of problems. Um, this video is just how to replace them. Um, diagnosing them is a little iffy. Um, there's different ways for different vehicles. For example, I'm not, I don't want you to think I'm dissing anybody, but Chris Fix, I watched one of his videos to learn how to make this video. Um, and turns out it helped me to realize that not everything is as easy as it seems. Um, because he said you just push it down, put your finger over the valve, shouldn't close. Well, the old one did what he said it would if it was bad. So I was like, all right, I'll go buy a new one. So, bought a new one. New one did the same thing the old one did. So, so, is there any way of knowing if one's bad? Yes, with a vacuum pump. Um, and there are several ways of doing it and several different methods for different cars, so I'm not going to get into that. 
Um, I'm probably not going to get into that in any video because it's just, honestly, it's a lot to go through. Yeah, guys, but anyways, I want to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.